hello guys hope you all are doing well in this video i'm going to explain you how to draw different type of lines in katia v5 so without delaying let's get started go to start mechanical design part design so here comes the window in which you can save the name you want suppose for this video i want line name so hit enter or click ok after that so that click is going to lead us to the 3d workbench for katia v5 part design so from here we will have to select uh, any plane from he here or here both are same so to access into a plane just click on a sketch and then go to the any plane you want to go in so for the sake of this video i want to go for yz plane then i will click on the yz plane so this way i got entered into this yz plane so from here to draw the lines i will have to get this profile toolbar and it contains the line options so let's click on this drop down option and there are five different ways which katia provides us to draw lines so let's check each one by one uh, this is the first one okay now we can check it with the cursor that it is asking us to select the first point as you all guys should know that uh, there are minimum two points are required for the line to be created so right now we have to select the starting point for the line so either we can just use it by clicking the cursor or just by here putting the coordinates suppose uh, here i want this line to be started from origin that means 0 comma 0 so i will put the values here 0 comma 0 suppose i want the length to be of 100 mm so put the value here and the angle 90 degree so insert that 90 degree here hit enter so it's gonna create a line directly uh, here uh, it got started from 0 comma 0 having 100 length as it is showing here and the angle is 90 degree here it goes very easy so let's try the another way again click on this line just click the cursor wherever you want to start this line click here and you can extend it if you want to increase the length and you can rotate it for angle manipulation so this way this works very easy option so let's try the another option click on dry drop down option and here it is uh, infinite line so as the name implies infinite lines it's gonna have infinity length so we are never gonna find the ends of it let's try this click on it and uh, click at that point wherever you want to be this line just click it here suppose here and uh, let's find its ends we can never find its end its end because it is an infinite line so let's delete it and check out the other options click on drop down option again and here it comes the by tangent line so before we access this line let me explain you what is a by tangent line okay tangent line is something like a line which is gonna touch the surfaces or the curves different type of curves it's not gonna intersect them this is the main point suppose we have curves here one is this ellipse and here it comes the another curve circle so katia provides us very easy option to draw the tangent between two or more than two curves so let's try that click on by tangent line click on first curve click on second curve so this way there is no need to do any type of calculation it provides us just by the click so let's try on another side also click on by tangent option first then click on the first surface or the curve click on another so this way this by tangent line option works very easy let's delete it and go to the another option so the another is bisecting lines so what is bisecting line at first it's gonna intersect two lines at same angle so suppose there are two lines one is it and another is it let's check out what is the angle between these two it is 107 let's make it simple 100 degree so now as you can see that there is 100 degree of angle between these two lines and i want a bisecting lines that means i want to cut this 100 degree into equal 50 50 degree so let's check out how that option works click on bisecting lines 
click on the first line and then on the another line so here we get the bisecting line in form of an infinite line so let's check out the angle click on first serve, first line click on another so here it comes and it, it, there is an angle of 50 degree between this line and this line and of course there will be 2 degree angle here so this way this line bisected these two lines so this way this bisecting line works very easy to work now here it comes the last option that is line normal to the curve okay let's try a curve here suppose we have a circle we can select any random circle here so we want a line which is normal to this curve okay just for knowledge point of view that uh, a line which will be normal to this circle will always pass through the center if it is not passing through the center it is not a normal so let's try how katia designs that thing line normal to the curve just click on it and uh, now after clicking on line normal to the curve click on the curve wherever you want this line to be started click it here and we can extend it wherever we want to end this line so as i told you that it will always gonna pass through the center so this way suppose i want to end it here so just to click it wherever you want to end so this way we got the line normal to the curve let's try one more time this time here see again it is passing through the center so this way in katia we can draw different type of lines i hope that you like this video okay thank you for watching